Hi, welcome back. Today I'd like to share with you a cool gadget I recently picked up, the DJI Mobile Osmo 3. If you are new here, my name is Gaminda, aka the Techno G, and I'm providing my two pennies in the vast and ever changing world of technology. I love vintage audio gear, video games, computers, in car entertainment, and so I'll be covering these areas and more alongside exciting projects that are currently work in progress, which I'm sure you are going to enjoy. So click that subscribe button and stay tuned. I picked up this gimbal on Amazon in the UK. It was an offer at £100 for the combo pack, making it pretty good value. I'll get into what the combo pack includes in a moment. I've always wanted one of these to take on holiday for selfies and video recording, but as you know, that will have to wait. So in the meantime, this is a great tool for recording content for my channel. In case you haven't seen a device like this before and you're a little confused, a gimbal can be used to pivot an object around an axis. In this case, a portable mobile gimbal like the one I have here is used to keep the phone in place on three axes for shooting stabilized video. Just before I put the box to the side, I wanted to point out, I saw on here it says accidental hardware damage coverage. So you get two years warranty with the manufacturer, but you also get a one time free accidental damage repair service. That's pretty sweet. Okay, let's have a look at what's included. So you get this nice drawstring bag to store the device in. The gimbal itself also comes with a wrist strap a USB-C cable, nice to see that it's USB-C. And for the combo pack, you are given a tripod mount and a hard case. Quite a snug fit. I mean, you won't be storing the included combo pack tripod in here but you can always use the draw the drawstring bag for that. Let's take a look at the gimbal itself. It unfolds like this. You have a tripod mount at the bottom, a USB-C charge, a USB type A port to charge your phone. So it can be used to provide some extra juice to your phone. So a battery bank of sorts. You've got various controls uh, some of these will only work with the software included, but the joystick will work to control the gimbal even if you're using your stock camera app, so that's pretty good. And a telephoto and wide slider. Uh, the only other thing you've got is the trigger on the back, which is used to reset the gimbal, and it has some other functionality if you triple press it as well. Now, my Galaxy Note 10 Plus is a little on the heavy and large side for this gimbal. I don't believe it's in the compatibility list, but it still works a treat. So if I, you can see here it's just floppy at the moment, but if I turn this on, it is now stabilized. Double pressing the back trigger will rebalance and reset the direction to forward facing. LED indicators show battery life. A yellow light indicates the gimbal is on and green means it's connected via Bluetooth. Now, to get the most out of this gimbal, you're going to want to download the DJI mobile app from your app store and install that, then connect the devices via Bluetooth. Pairing is quick and easy. And now once the app has recognized the device, you can click camera. And so here we are, the interface. This will be different from your stock app, of course. And there's one thing to note here that if you have additional cameras or you've got 60 frames per second at 4K, these do not currently work on the DJI mobile app. Your mileage might vary between manufacturer of phone, but this is the experience I've had with my Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. If you have a look now, as I move the gimbal, the phone is staying in place. And that's how it provides very stable video. And if I want to use the joystick, it will move the gimbal. I've got mine set to slow moving speed in case you're wondering why it's taking so long, but you can manually move the device using the joystick, which is pretty cool. Let's just quickly go over what the buttons do on the device. 
So double tapping the M button will change it from portrait to landscape. Triple tapping the rear button will change which camera you are using. This is your zoom. And then we've also got the, the start, stop video or take a photo button. This here is the stock camera app from my phone and you can switch between the lenses. And so the joystick does still work, but none of the other buttons are gonna change what the app is doing. However, the record button does work. But if you want access to all your lenses and 4K 60 frames, then you might have to use your stock app too. I'd say a mixture of using both is probably a good way to go with this device. The DJI Mobile app has a ton of features that you're gonna to wanna to experiment with to get the most out of this gimbal. Let's take a look. So here we have hyperlapse, we've got time lapse. It says use tripod for better shooting results. Yep, fair enough. Uh, video, photo, and we've got panorama. And then we have some preset modes for you to try out. It's a fashion, cut, lively, shake, all sorts of different modes to try out. And there's so much here, I'm not gonna have time to go through all of it. I just wanna run through the main features for you. The extensive feature list can be found on the DJI product page. One feature that I really like and is really popular with this gimbal is the active tracking. So it works in photo and video mode. And as I touch and drag over an object, but then move the object, the gimbal is independently moving to follow the object. The active tracking feature works best when you have great lighting conditions. Now, initially with this gimbal, I was having a bit of drift. Slowly over time, you could see the camera moving to the right. And no matter how many times I double pressed the trigger button to reset it, it still was having this problem. I tried repositioning it in the center, moving it slightly left and right, and it would still do that. However, there is a utility in the DJI mobile app to recalibrate the setup when you've got a flat surface. I recommend you do this, especially if you're using a large, heavy phone like the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Since my purchase, I've learned more about gimbals and I will be shopping for a portable DSLR capable gimbal in the next few months. Expect a return to this topic with said new gimbal in the not too distant future. In any case, that's all for now. If you are looking for a device like this, the DJI Osmo Mobile 3 is a great choice. It is user-friendly, accessible, portable, and good value for money. The app is full of fun features to make the most out of it. I definitely haven't covered them all, but more importantly, you'll begin taking more professional looking videos in no time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, please leave a like. It really helps support my channel. If you've got any questions about this gimbal or what's available on the market, hit me up in the comments, I'll gladly assist. This is the Techno G signing out. Take care.